Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here, and in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create some refracted 3D reflections. Basically, here's some 3D reflections based on the previous tutorial of 3D reflections. And it looks nice, and here's an example of what we're gonna be creating. So, it's a similar effect in that we're seeing a reflection, but in this case, we're going to pretend it's refracting through an uneven surface. Now, in the real world, you can probably see this at the ocean or a lake or your next door neighbor's swimming pool when they're out of town and you bring your friends over there and you have a party and then you lose your wallet and they call you the next week and say, hey, I found your wallet. And I say, oh, great, I've been looking for it. And they, and they tell you where they found it and then you, yeah, not good. So, in any case, what we're going to do is create this effect and we'll go and get started. Now, I will warn you, this isn't a super uh, beginner tutorial, so if you want to check out the original 3D Reflections tutorial, I recommend you do that. Um, otherwise, sit back and enjoy. I'm going to create a new solid, 1200 by 1200 pixels, so pretty big. It's going to be our floor or our liquidy surface. I'm going to choose Effect, Noise, Fractal Noise, We'll leave it at the default settings. I'm going to choose Effect, Blur, Fast Blur. And we'll set it to about 25. Okay, now I'm going to turn on the 3D layer switch. Perfect. And we're going to rotate the layer. And then move it down so that it's a floor. So then I'm going to create a new camera. And we'll go ahead and use the 35 millimeter preset. Choose OK. Then I'm going to take our image of our desert and drag it out to the comp. And we can scale it down some and turn on the 3D layer switch as well. Now we want the floor to match right up with the bottom so that when we orbit around it's kind of sitting there. Then I'm going to shut the background layer off and duplicate the desert image and then rotate it upside down and then move it down and we want it to line up just right there and let's go ahead and order these so that the top layer the source image and the reflection are sort of in order then I'm going to take the parent pick whip and select the source image so that if I move the source image around it follows also we turn our background layer on. Now the problem is our reflection isn't seen. So in the previous tutorial we found the solution was to create an adjustment layer and put it beneath the reflection and the background layer. And that basically allows it to render out of order. And if we take the opacity of the reflection layer and turn it down some, we can sort of see what we're after. Now to the refraction layer. I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to choose Effect, Distort, Displacement Map. Now this is the key to the refraction. Basically what this does is offset pixels based on the luminance of your map. So your map is a layer you designate and in this case the source image. And based on the brightness from light to dark it will basically offset those pixels. So you can see it does some pretty wild stuff. So what I want to do is use this displacement map to create the refraction look on the floor. And to do that, we want the displacement map to be the background layer or this sort of, you know, fractally looking floor. But the only problem is the adjustment layer can only look at a layer if it's pre-composed. So all of the effects I've added to it don't even get seen by the displacement map until I pre-compose it. So if I take the background layer, choose Layer, Pre-Compose, and move all the attributes into the new comp and choose OK. OK, so the problem now is that layer no longer is being registered by our comp's camera. So if we turn on the collapse transformation for this comp, it'll re-render it based on the position as it sits inside of this pre-comp. So basically, we get everything we want. We, we get it as a single layer, but we also get the ability to adjust it in 3D space. So if I take my adjustment layer now, change the displacement map to the background layer, 
and offset the horizontal and vertical displacement, we can see we've created sort of this watery effect. But it's affecting everything, including our actual source. So to solve that problem, we take the adjustment layer, put it beneath the source, but above the reflection. So now we get the perfect refraction that we want. OK, next thing I want to do is create a new light. We'll go ahead and make a blue light and choose OK. OK, we have a problem here. And that is the light is changing the luminance value of the background comp. And because the displacement is based on that particular layer's luminance, it's changing just because of this light. And we don't want that. So I'm going to go to this layer and open it up, Alt double click, and then bring up the material options and accept lights to off. Now we can have a light, but it won't affect our floor layer. However, the problem is now our floor layer looks very flat and you know it's not as interesting. So let's shut the displacement map layer off, go into the comp, make a copy of this layer and paste it into this comp again. So it's basically a copy of it without having been inside of a pre-comp. But we need to go and then change the material options to accept lights on. And now this layer is not the one being referenced by our displacement map. Instead, it's the actual pre-comp, which is off. So that's what we want. Call this displace. Sorry if I'm a bit rushed. Got a lot of things to do. I'm uh, celebrating my one year wedding anniversary on Sunday. So uh, got to get a lot of stuff done. So, OK, so we've created the floor. Now we're looking really good. So we can go and play with this a little bit. We can take the background layer, bring the opacity down some. And, you know, just play with it, bring the light closer to the surface and create sort of a uh, interesting look that way. Now one final thing you can do is with the reflection layer you can choose effect linear wipe and set it to about 50% 180 for the wipe angle and then increase the feather amount so it's kind of falls off down towards the floor and now we can animate the position and the anchor point of the camera and just kind of create a quick little camera move. So there you have it. 3D refraction and reflections for that matter. And the cool thing about this is the displacement map is working on a layer that is in fact 3D. So you get a dynamic floor displacement no matter where the camera is. So as the camera moves the displacement changes causing you know an animated looking refraction um, you know sort of like a glossy surface so that's it for today I will see you guys next time this is Andrew Kramer with videocopilot.net check us out every day if not twice a day <laughs>